Guys, the SEC did it again. It's yet another epic fail for the regulatory body and things are about to get even juicier. I believe it's time the whole world recognizes that the SEC is honestly overstepping and when that happens, XRP will head straight to the moon. More on that coming up in the video, but first, let's roll that intro. Hello and welcome to MoneySide, your favorite crypto channel. If you are new here, please hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you get updates whenever we drop a new video. To my Money Side family, welcome back. Don't forget to smash that like button and comment in the section below if you find this video informative. Now, I started by saying how the SEC is making a mess of things, and funny enough, I'm not the only one who shares those sentiments. Jesse underscore Hines also recently tweeted, I think this would be a good time for Coinbase to publicly recognize that the SEC is overstepping and make the leap and relist XRP. Yes, you may face a lawsuit, but it's time the crypto industry stand together and support each other. I stand with Coinbase and Ripple. It was all fun and games when the SEC went after Ripple and Coinbase is one of the first exchanges to delist it. I have no problem with Coinbase, as a matter of fact, since it's one of the leading crypto exchanges in the world, I wouldn't like it to be associated with a crypto that has legal issues with the regulatory body. But now the SEC, for some reason, decided to go for the one exchange that's clearly a law-abiding citizen, if we can call it that. I mean, from day one, Coinbase has always been on the right side of the law. It's like that one crypto exchange that you would never suspect of anything. If by chance it's true the exchange was at wrong, I believe the blame lies on a single person and not the entire exchange. Someone must have done something wrong and tried to get away with it, but that's a big if. Why? Well, for starters, coins listed on Coinbase typically go through rigorous inspection before that happens. And one single sniff of something wrong or not right, the exchange quickly delists it. I mean, look at what happened with XRP. Why did the SEC go for the one crypto exchange that everyone relies on whenever it's time to invest in a new crypto? It totally beats logic. Whoever is running the show needs to get his or her facts straight because clearly there's something wrong with their decision. That also begs the question, did the same thing happen when they were dealing with XRP and Ripple? If so, then the SEC clearly out of their way. James Filan, a U.S. attorney who also commented on the same, said in a tweet, XRP community XRP, the SEC will stop at nothing to control the entire crypto space. This isn't just about Ripple. Coinbase accuses the SEC of using intimidation tactics behind closed doors to stop the company from launching a lending program. We can all clearly see that this governing body is out of its league. But don't get me wrong, whatever the SEC was trying to do is on the right side. Regulating the crypto community isn't such a bad thing. However, the people in charge of the SEC currently are in charge of the worst decisions this department has made so far. On the flip side, it's not all bad. Yes, there's always a good side to every situation and this one is no different. The SEC has given Ripple a lot of negative publicity, but as you already know, publicity is still publicity. Now, most people are curious about what Ripple is all about, and to some extent, it's working towards creating a better future for Ripple. Currently, Ripple and XRP are among the most searched keywords on Google and with good reason. Another question that's been bugging most crypto enthusiasts is whether central banks are attracted to what Ripple has to offer or XRP. And the truth of the matter is that one can't exist without the other. What do I mean? Well, RippleNet is the framework that goes into the banking system to ensure smooth cross-border transactions and also grant banks the on-demand liquidity. This framework is based on the blockchain technology and uses this system to operate most of its functions. And from what we understand from the blockchain technology, it needs a local crypto to operate effectively. That's where XRP comes in. This coin acts as a bridge between the currencies to speed up the cross-border transactions, lower its costs, and also ensure cross-border transactions run smoothly. So there's no change that RippleNet can exist without XRP, and that's a fact. That is why, as much as the banks are incorporating RippleNet into their systems, they are also embracing XRP. Do you understand how heavy that is and how it could potentially change the whole crypto community as we know it? Yep, that's right. The whole crypto community has always been questioned about its legitimacy, even when outright it's a transparent community that ensures the users understand what is happening. Either way, since it's not your usual fiat currency, most people have been skeptical about using cryptos. But now that banks are also jumping on board, what do you think will happen? 
The crypto community is about to be hit by an influx of new traders who want to get a piece of the cake, even if it's just a little. And the crypto in mind is undoubtedly XRP, since it's the only one that currently has a case against the SEC and seems to be winning. It's like this crypto is going through the most challenging parts of being a cryptocurrency before it takes off to being the top crypto that will rule them all. The SEC's continued warfare on crypto continues to play out. In December 2020, I said that we'd been having discussions with the SEC for for nearly three years about XRP and never been met with clarity. Sound familiar? Even Ripple noticed what is happening with the SEC. It seems like this battle has only begun and the SEC is only going to expose themselves even more as the days go by. So what's next for XRP? And how can this crypto change its future? Currently, Ripple is working on an NFT platform which has been making waves in the crypto community and will probably catapult this coin to the next level as well. That's because the NFT is the hottest feature in the market. And when Ripple includes that into their framework, this coin will head straight to the moon. And that's not all. Ripple has already formed a strong partnership with the Asian market, which will make this crypto company even more lucrative. The Asian market will over time give this coin enough energy to head straight to the top without any hesitation. So if you were second guessing yourself about investing in this crypto, please don't. Right now is the best time to make the most out of this opportunity. Aside from that, I highly think that the current case with the SEC might be a plot for the whales to take charge and eventually make a lot of cash from XRP's move. Think about it for a second. This crypto's price dropped after the lawsuit, but it was already on its way to the top. That means it could have been a strategic move to weaken the coin's value so that the whales can pump a lot of money into it, and when the case is over, this coin's price will go through the roof. That is why it's probably the golden goose in the crypto market that we've all been waiting for. I've said this time and time again, XRP is meant for retail, and we are only privileged to have access to it. But soon, this crypto will go back to retail, and the few holders who are in it will be among the richest crypto owners in the world. Once the coin goes to retail, its price will instantly shoot through the roof and no one can stop it. As a matter of fact, what I'm talking about has already started. Have you recently checked out the XRP price graph? If not, you need to, so that you can understand what I'm talking about. This coin's move to two digits has already started and that means it will potentially reach to even higher highs once the community notices that it has the chance of going that high. And when it happens, it will probably be too late to get a good fortune from XRP. I don't know how else to open your eyes about this coin other than state the facts and show you the evidence to the same. And with that in mind, time now to take a look at the technical analysis. On the chart, we can spot an impulse Elliott wave and ascending parallel channel. As you can see, we are currently at the fifth wave to the upside, which can be huge. The price is expected to move in bullish momentum till the price touches the middle Bollinger Band in the next 24 hours. The coin started this uptrend by the head and shoulders pattern, and target is the top of the channel or one-to-one -one Fib extension. New all-time highs are nearer than you think, guys. The volume is decreasing, which means that a big explosive move is coming. We are in some exciting times. Well, as always, remember to trade with care. Do your research. Please keep in mind, we're not a licensed financial advisor. All videos on this channel are intended for entertainment purposes only. Tell us what you think in the comment section below and let's have a conversation. As always, I thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video and to click on the subscribe button below. Make sure you turn on notifications so you get informed whenever we post our amazing content. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next video.